This is Arielle Ryan, entertainment reporter and writer, here for day three of the 22nd annual Urban World Film Festival in New York City. This is Arielle Ryan, entertainment reporter and writer, reporting on behalf of the blackmedia.org, and I'm here with the founder of the Urban World Film Festival, Mr. Stacy Spikes. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. I got him here, guys. I got him here. Okay, so question. Yes. I want to know everything. The purpose of the Urban World Film Festival and why you created it in the first place. So I felt our images, our stories weren't getting told. We didn't have the platform that you'd see other people had. And going back 22 years, there was Sundance and the Cannes Film Festival, and that was it. Maybe if you were Spike Lee or somebody, you might get in, but there just wasn't a place for us. And it was the simple idea of we need our own home. And so what better way to do that than have you create it yourself? What is your favorite moment, like in year of the festival thus far? I mean, you have 22 years to recap. Yeah. I think the coolest moment was we had a publicist who was working with us. And she leans over to me and she says, I think I want to make a film. And I said, well, you should do that. And that was Ava DuVernay. And so she used to be the publicist for this festival. She made a short film, then she made a second film and got into Ur uh, to Sundance, and then the rest is history. history. So I think that's, that was a really cool moment that she got the bug by being here, and she was so inspired by what she saw filmmakers do. She's like, I want to tell these stories and tell our stories. So. And what makes it even better, she's going to be here yeah. for the closing night, yeah. so yeah. you know it all comes into fruition. Yeah. Yeah. Now, seeing as we're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Coming to America, yes. tell me about your favorite moment, funny moment of the movie. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's a tough one. You put me on the spot. I know, I uh, know. I mean, the whole movie's funny. It's just everything from when they first arrive and Arsenio they're just crazy. I mean, it's just fun, and the and the accents were really horrible. It was just, <laughs> it's I mean, okay. yeah, it's just, it's great. It's great. I love it. So, if you were an African prince in 2018 yes. coming to America, what would be your first stop, or where would be your first stop? Wow, wow. I'm just stumping you. My first stop would be the Urban World Film Festival. I would want to see all these movies so I could understand. America from inside. How's that for an answer? To do it? See that recovery? Yeah. yeah, I love that. Now, lastly, I yeah. want to know, seeing the movie yeah. Coming to America, yeah. your takeaway from it, how would you say millennials, how would you say the millennials would need that? Like, why would millennials need that takeaway? Um, I mean, look, at, at the end, Coming to America was all about the fish out of water story and how you look at something from outside. And it's important to always try and have the point of view of a willingness to look at things from outside, right? Mm -hmm. what, what does it mean to other people beyond myself? And I think as long as we can do that, that's the idea of what humility, acceptance, love, grace, all of those things, that's what that's about, is that willingness to do that. So. I don't know if that fits it, but no, yeah. yeah. No, I think it's perfect because, you know, we have that tough time. Millennials need yeah. to know that. What would you see coming next for the festival for years to come? Um, I think every year it's, it, it's astounding to me, the work. I mean, the work. And now more and more and more you're seeing our filmmakers not only happen, but they get to the mainstream quicker. Um, like one of the movies last night, they announced, we just got a distribution deal. So you're seeing that happen and you're seeing our stories and you're seeing our talent get out there much more. And that's, it, it worked, right? It's doing what it was supposed to do. And it's like, we saw black presidents on the screen before we had one. And so what we imagine ultimately becomes. And so I think that People will continue to tell great stories and great storytellers will be out there and now we're going into streaming, you know, mediums too and it just more and more opportunities for our stories to be told.